Both sides traded chances from beginning to end at the Emirates Stadium, with Arsenal goalkeeper Peter Sek and his opposite number 5 Bakor Wan responsible for keeping the score sheet blank until past the hour mark. Jack Wilshere gave Arsenal a 63rd minute lead but Bilirin's trip on Eden Hazard gave the Belgian wizard the chance to level from the penalty spot for minutes later. A flowing Chelsea move ended with Marco Alonso putting the visitors ahead in the 84th minute, but they were denied the victory that would have put them above Manchester United into second spot with Bilirin's sumptuous 92nd minute half volley. There was still time for Chelsea substitute Davide Zapacosta to hit the crossbar but defeat would have been harsh on Arsenal who had 14 goal attempts to Chelsea's 19. Chelsea remained in third place with 46 points, 16 behind leader Manchester City, who has a 15-point lead over second-place United, while Arsenal stayed sixth. It was manager Arsene Wenger's 60th match against Chelsea in his long Arsenal reign but few could have provided as much goal-mouth action as this classic. It was a fantastic football game and overall it could have gone both ways, Wenger said. Maybe it's a fair result. Alvaro Morata, strangely profligate all night, wasted a great chance early on for Chelsea when he took advantage of a yawning chasm in the Arsenal defence to go through on goal, but his side foot finish was dreadful. At the other end Alexis Sanchez's shot struck both uprights after a superb save by Kurwa, who shortly afterwards did brilliantly to keep out Alexander Lacazette's shot.